You love your Ray Dunn stuff? Charlie, do you, oh, <laughs> do you love your Ray Dunn? Yeah, you do, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my Ray Dunn collection thus far. Um, if you don't know what Ray Dunn is, it's pottery that is sold at either TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. It's really, really cute. It goes really, really good with like farmhouse decor. There's a few different kinds of Ray Dunn. Um, I collect the large letter kind, so you guys will see that in a minute. It's the kind that like I feel like most people collect. Um, women go crazy for it and like people will seriously line up at the doors at freaking opening at the three stores and it's insane. Um, in Ohio, I haven't been able to find any until recently and now I'm like obsessed. So, sorry my kitchen is kind of dirty. I'm cleaning the house tomorrow, um, but hopefully you guys don't mind. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm doing a voiceover for most of this video because I accidentally covered up the microphone on my camera. So he has Dine and All Mine for his dog bowls. I know they're kind of dirty. It's just because he went for a walk and he got dirt in his mouth and then he drank the water. <laughs> and he also has a Live Love Bark canister for his milk bones. He gets a milk bone every time he comes in from going to the bathroom. So now we're going to go ahead and get started in the kitchen. I have this large sugar canister here. And I have a bake bowl. I do not have the rest of this set. I forget what the rest of it says, but I wish I did, but I only have the bake bowl so far. I have a cake stand, and that says cake on the top of it. I have a drink and a pour pitcher. I have a dash, stir, and toss bowl set that I actually traded, or no, I bought from somebody. And then I have a slice uh, what's this called? Pie plate, whatever. And a cook crock. I believe that's what that's called. Um, I don't use any of these things. They're all just for decoration, but I can use them if I would want to. So now we're going to head over to my windowsill here, and I have a home sweet home three pot planter. I absolutely love this, and the plants are actually from Ikea. They are not real. I thought about doing real ones, but I honestly cannot keep plants alive. It's a miracle that my fiddly fig tree is still alive, to be honest. And I will come back to my mugs in just a second here. This is my shelf I got from Hobby Lobby. Pretty much everybody has this Hobby Lobby shelf. If I can find it online, I'll link to it down below. I have coffee, flour, tea, sugar. That's a small sugar canister. And then I also have a little cream, sugar, and butter. I do use all of these except for the cream. That one's pretty much just for decoration. But I absolutely love these. I did get the canisters off of Mercari. They were honestly embarrassingly highly priced. And here is my spoon spoon rest. And then I also have a stir spoon rest, which I don't keep out, but I keep it for like cookouts and stuff. And then now we're going to go back to my mugs. So let me show you guys my Easter one really quickly. It's a cute little bunny face. It's by Whimsy Home by Magenta. And Magenta is actually the company that makes Ray Dunn from how I understand it. Um, and I just think it's super, super cute. So I have been stashing that one away in my cabinets recently. And then here is my mugs. I got this from Amazon. Like this, uh, I don't even know what you call it, a mug rack. So I have... Bride and groom. I know we're not married, but I had to pick those up. Same with Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> I have I Woke Up Like This. I love that one. That's probably my favorite. I have Boss, and I have Coffee, and I have Tea, and I also have Beauty and the Beast. Or Beast, not the Beast, I guess. But I love my mugs. I use all of them. Every single day I use one. And then I have Hustle, Coffee, and Drink tumblers I guess is what you would call them or like travel coffee things I absolutely love those as well so here I have some eat nibble and taste little appetizer dip plates I love them I think they're so cute I can't wait to use those for a party and then I also have a serve dish here that'd be cool to put like cheese on or something and then here I have a bake dish which is good for like brownies and then I also have another Enjoy Bake Dish that's a little bit bigger. 
I may sell this. This is my spread butter dish, and now I have the butter one, which I like a little better. But for now, I keep extra butter in this one. And here I have my little shine watering pot. I absolutely love it, just for decor. And then here I have my Easter egg cups. I need to get like some fake eggs to put in them, but I think those are so, so cute. And then this goes along with that mug that I showed you guys earlier. It's another whimsy home thing. Um, basically, you could put like candy in here. I just thought it was really cute. And now we're up in my storage closet. It is a complete mess because I'm about to have a garage sale. Um, but I have an East Happy Easter pie plate here. I don't know why I didn't put this out. I should have. Really, really cute. And then I also have a bowl set. It says, uh, excellent and exciting and exceptional. <laughs> it's so cute. But I don't have that out either because I might trade it or just go ahead and return it. That's why I have that receipt there. And then as far as Christmas goes, I have a Merry Christmas crock. I have an eggnog mug. And I also have Naughty and Nice Melamine plates. So I just got those. I can't wait to use them for Christmas next year. I think they're so cute. And then I also have Holly and Jolly espresso cups. I thought those would be really cute for like Santa for milk and cookies whenever me and Jack have kids, which won't be for a while, if you're wondering. <laughs> So here I have a few things I'm going to be selling in my garage sale. I have a sleepy mug. And if you guys are wondering, I just, I couldn't find anybody online that wanted to buy them. So I'll be selling them in my garage sale. I also have a drink mug. I also have a Be Well mug. I just don't need them. And then I have a typewriter scoop that is like yellow polka dotted and then I also have a matching typewriter pour that's blue polka dotted and then I also have a um large letter scoop that I used until I got my large letter sugar which I absolutely love now so I just personally don't need that anymore and then I also have a typewriter smear and now that I have my other large letter uh butter dishes I just don't need it, so I will be probably selling these in my garage sale. I just couldn't find anyone that wanted to trade or wanted to buy them or anything online. Okay, maybe I should talk to you guys like this. I am in some Ray Dunn Columbus buy sell trade groups, and I highly recommend joining them. I have been able to find so many things just by trading or selling with other people, and we sell retail for retail, so it's a great deal. Um, try not to buy off Mercari because you do not want to support upsellers. Alright, so I think that is it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing what I have. I don't have a ton, but I do love the things and use the things that I have other than the things that are up on my kitchen, um, cabinets, but I love using them as decor. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe and also go ahead and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys, see you in the next one.